Planner Cleansing. Draw a non permanence. In response... Assault. <laughs> I think... I think we're honing him! I think we're honing him! It's pretty good honing. The master hooner himself has spoken. Yeah, resolve this. Resolve it! Kenrith. Now that's the first time twist. That's a beautiful, beautiful comeback. If you can't beat evil, join them! <laughs> That's what we're gonna do today. Yes, we're playing another Pirates of Invention deck. Yes, we're playing Kenrith again. But this time... This time we got some sweet tricks up our sleeve. This time we have this card. The first time twist. You can exile something at instant speed and then return it at the end of your turn. And you can do some naughty nonsense with this. Of course you can play it on Pirates of Invention. Because remember, with Pirates of Invention you can only play two spells per turn. But you can kind of get around this by getting the first spell for free. Then Fires of Invention for free. Your Fires of Invention. Or the first time twist your Fires of Invention. And then putting down something else. But you can also do this little thing. Where you put... Planner Cleansing on the stack, and then response to Planner Cleansing, you play the first time twist on your Fires of Invention, clearing the entire board, and then you end up with a Fires of Invention on your board. So we don't want to have too many permanents in this deck. We have Kenrith, of course, and we have Narset and Teferi, but we want to have things which are kind of expendable, like these cards, where it doesn't really matter if they die. We don't want to have any expensive Planeswalkers, and this is kind of a good, fun alternative way of playing the deck, I feel like. We also have Fey of Wishes, so that we can find Fires of Invention in our sideboard, because the deck is you know, 10 times better when we have Fires of Invention. So we can search for it with Fey Wishes. And we have a lot of different win cons here, which makes every game kind of unique. Depending what you're up against, you can answer up with like Thought Distortion versus Control decks, or you can go in a long battle, you can go Plain White Celebration. There's a lot of fun stuff. But we should just jump into the game shop. Hansei! Hansei Hansoi! <laughs> it's probably racist in some way, I don't know. We gotta keep this up. This looks like a beautiful land. Kenrith, Fey Wishes, Deafening Clarion. Beautiful, I say. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see. We put down the Hallowed Fountain. And pass the turn. If this guy is aggressive, we definitely want the Deafening Clarion. And, uh, I mean, we have Kenrith there. What could everything be? Oh, this is. This is the healing deck. We're playing against the mirror healing. Oh, this is probably fires of mansion. Probably, probably the mirror matchup. 99% sure. Okay, Chandra active the flame. No, 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 I lied. <laughs> That's pretty usual. Whenever I say something, it's a complete lie. Always. Always a complete lie. Okay. Two one ones, and they go in and they smack. Okay. Point. Point, point, point. Um. Mm -mm -mm. I guess we'll go to Fair Time Raveler plus then. Could be pretty decent. Plus in this game. Plus. Last turn. Hansei? Sacrifice the place for him. Yep. He had the answer. He had the answer. I think it's gonna be pretty sweet to the fair wishes ever. Finding exactly what we need there. Fires. Invention! Invention, I say! Start inventing right now. Start inventing. We go with this. Search for a. Do we need a red source? A white source, I think? Yeah, search for white. White! Well, that, it won't matter too much whatever we search for, because we're gonna go for fires of invention. But... We are gonna go and look in our sideboard here. Check it out. Very sweet sideboard. I know, I know. <laughs> Pick this up. I think that our opponent also is fires of invention. I have the feeling. I mean, why would you play these colors and not play fires of invention? I guess you could go with an aggro variant, but it hasn't been very aggressive. Double fires of invention. Perfect. Sideboard in. This is what I needed. This is what I needed. Do we now go? 
I search for removal for Chandra, an elder spell or something. Yeah, because if this fire of invention you probably wants to put down another other planeswalker. We can also go thought no no we can't play it yet. We don't have enough lands. Okay, elder spell. Elder spell. Yes, 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 yes. Oh actually. What I could have done there. It's not such problem, because you can just kill it with Kenrith. Kenrith is freaking amazing. But I keep forgetting that he's amazing! It's amazing. Okay. And this guy seems to be very Mona Scrooge. Probably. Um why do I kill I could just go in with Kenrith. Yeah. Do this. You're maced. Trample haste. Go in. Go in with Kenrith. And smack him. Man, Kenrith is good. Go in. Go in. Smack him. Badook. And then... I don't have just drawn from right Reeves. Now. Everyone's seeing red there. Everyone has seen this trick a million, million times by now. Uh, sure, enter. Everyone has seen Fires of Invention so many times and everyone's so tired of it. Will it get banned though? I don't think it will get banned. Might. Might get banned, probably not. Mm. If it completely dominates the format, the thing is it's very... It's very good in any strategy that revolves around playing big spells. Like 4-5 mana spells. Very very good in those archetypes. Uh, let's see here. I could take... Come on now, Kenrith. <laughs> Be reasonable here. I will gain 5 life, yes. Now, first we go in with Kenrith. And we kill that nasty Narset there. Nasty Narset goes away. And then... Let's see here. We probably want to play our Drawn from Reeves. Find some good stuffs. Another Kenrith. And a planner cleansing. That's pretty good. I was going with a Teferi Time Rabbit, I guess. Uh, uh, I, want, I want a spare Kenrith. Okay, something happens here. Uh, I could go to Teferi Time Twist. In that case, I can play Narset. And what else can I do? I can just play Narset pretty, pretty normal, also, I guess. Doesn't do much extra here. Yep, put it down. Like zero. Well, I could maybe have played whatever I found in our stars, I guess. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so we're time raveler. I think we have it all. End turn. Discard the Deathly Clarion. Oh, well, why, why not the fight so invention? Well, he might have a removal for it, I don't know. In that case, it would be good. The price of Bane, okay. Well, I will... Draw card. Yes, auto pay. Castle of Vantress. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. Do love it. Do love my Castle of Vantress. <laughs> These matchups are quite long though. It's not the best deck to play if you want some fast games. Everything is just over in two hours. Maybe this episode will be one game. I guess this game. Uh, let's see, another Kenrith. Could be sweet. Now we're gonna go minus here. And nothing. Don't need anything. Mm, we could put out a lot of stuff here. I think we're gonna go. It's very time twist. Uh, for zero, yes. On this guy. Which will enable us to put out all these fey wishes. Which, if they die. Can probably return later on. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can also put down the fear, I guess. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. Oh, we can just bounce it. Do this. Just do this. Schmick. Oh, we should have attacked him first. Then. Ah. Ah. I don't know. Go in with the Kenrith. And schmack the him. I like this deferred time twist. Kind of makes the deck a little bit more maneuverable, in my opinion. But I can just take this in and out a couple of times. Feel kind of free. You can do essentially whatever you want. 
Okay, and you can well, this, this has to be poison. It has to be. Did you go for the cannon right there? Yep. Your existence is pointless. Your existence is pointless. Uh, we can not play that later because we can't use it then. Uh, destroy the number of planeswalkers, that would be you. And put the countess on, I guess, Narset. And then. Then what do we do? Do we need that first time twist here? We'll see. We'll see what we find with this. Gone from dreams. Yeah, it's probably good with a time twist. Take this away. And let's see here. Another Narset could be cool. And my news. Another very time raveler. That's not the worst either. Plus you. And play you and plus you also, I think. Trust me. Thank me later. I got time. Hmm. Mm hmm. There was a Norset there, maybe? I won't yep. Our time. Did not like Norset. Did not like her one bit. So, here then. I think it's time to finish this guy, honestly. I think we go for this. Let's use a non creature card. Granted. I think Thought Distortion will finish him. I don't know that it will, but very likely. I haven't had many creature cards so far. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that seemed pretty good. That honestly seemed pretty good. Uh, we cannot bounce the Pfizer Invention. Need that right now. And then. <laughs> oh, the. N9P8NR. <laughs> Beautiful name. Like it. How do you come up with that? You go first. Oh, I win? That's amazing. I've already won! <laughs> N9P8NR. He will be playing... Probably Elementals. Could be something else, I guess. Come on now. Come on now! Second Foundry. Voice of Invention is pretty good right now. Pretty strong. Is this stronger than the mm, Grixis version? <sighs> Depends on the matchup, I would say. I think that this version is honestly pretty strong in the right matchup. Oh, wow, what a <laughs> what a controversial statement. <laughs> that said absolutely nothing. Of course it's better in certain matchups. But how much better? How much? What everyone's asking right now. If you could speak through my camera, you would say that, right? Fabled Passage. Mm -hmm. Search, search, search. Diggle, diggle, digs. Mm -hmm. Please play another Paradise Druid. Eh? <laughs> Be greatly appreciated. Or another Mana Dork of some sort. No. Goes in. Smacks the nuts. Sure. Uh, interesting uh, technique. Interesting technique. It's called <laughs> the Smack. It is widely known as the smack. In practice for thousands of years. Mm. Mm. We're gonna go with the planes. We're gonna clear up the board with death and clear. Death. Endlessly. And then I think we're just gonna search for fires of magic. Maybe I could have searched this one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Want to clear up a little bit. Wanted to clear up. Ooh. Oh, snap. Please. Okay. Well, that, that did hurt, well admit. We still have much to learn, mister. Known creature. Outside the game. Outside of the game. Uh, it has to be Fire's Adventure, yeah. Come, no, 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 then... Unfortunately, Deathly Glare doesn't kill Questing Beasts. I guess Kai's Wrath in many cases are better, but... 
you know, how often are you up against a green deck like this? Sometimes. <laughs> it's the answer. Sometimes it's the answer. N9, P8, NR. With Snake. Snake, snake man. The Snake man we can kill. Snake man is not the problem. Uh, the questing is more the problem, I would say. Uh, but do we care too much about that crisis? I think we just go this. Yes, like, it's fine or bassness here. Fine or bassness, I say. Oh, we have the Combone Razor. Yes, please. <laughs> well, yes, please. Let's see. Six manas. Yes, we have it. That's amazing. That is amazing. Okay. He's gonna kill my fire zone, imagine. I hope he doesn't. It's a weird trick in the trick to kill my fires! No! <laughs> Can't have that! Play something! A creature without haste. Ho hopefully. <laughs> that's, okay. that's beautiful. Perfect. Perfect deal. I will enlighten you. you. It's not poison. Now we're getting it off. We're a little bit low, but still. Still is pretty sweet. Must say. Tranquil Cove. Okay. We need to go into full control mode to do this. Planner cleansing. Draw all non permanents. In response. Assault. <laughs> I think, I think we hoon him. I think we hoon him. It's pretty good hooning. The master hooner himself has spoken. Yeah, resolve this. Resolve it! Kenrith. Now that's the first time twist. That's a beautiful, beautiful comeback. Okay, put down the fair wishes. Resolve this. Can go out of full control mode now. That felt amazing. That felt amazing. Ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> but pretty good. N9, P8, and R. Man, you made my day off. But I got the combo off there. Just. A nick of time, even. Mm -mm -mm. So next time we're gonna do a lot of naughty business here. A lot of naughty nonsense. Wicked Wolf. Okay. He may fight the Fae if he wants to. Do it, huh? Or control these guys. <laughs> oh, we could even do this with Kenry out. That's even better. It's even better. It's even better. Ooh, ooh. ooh la la. <laughs> Go for this. And go in. Man, Kenrith is so good! He's so good! Did I? Wait, surely you went for lifelink, right? Yes, I went for lifelink. Woohoo! And it's on. Now? I think he's done in this town. I'm gonna declare him done in this town. That's my declaration. <laughs> I have a declaration of sorts, and a N9P8NR. First of all, your, your name is very long and annoying to say. <laughs> and second of all, man, I'm happy I got that combo. Fair wishes. Ah, he's hooning in on him. Hooning, is that where it came from? Mm. No, it came from Scabahoon. I saw a couple of comments. Where did hoon come from? came from Scabahoon, and then I wanted a shortened version. Of course! Of course I wanted a shortened, it was a little bit too long. Okay. Well, get those counters. That's fine. That's quite nice, right? That's cool. Uh, we're just gonna go for a draw a card there. It's pretty sweet. And then, can we do something else? A counter on something. Uh, that doesn't do much. Oh, discard two cards, return fair wishes to your hand. That we could do with Deafening Clarion. Here we have it. Deafening Clarions. Changing it! Tricks of the tricks! Schnixley Hicks! Man, when you have the Schnixley Hicks. Like I do. Uh, let's see here. Non creature card. Oh, I love that I played that with <laughs> for the actual mana stuff. 
Uh, okay, well, you're gonna get a present there. It's called Captain Orders. And they'll be hard about it. <laughs> Quite an old card, but here it comes. Oh, he blocks even. Does he? Does he take it? Oh, he's checking out that card. The frack is this. I think everyone forgot about this. Oh, it's pretty sweet. It is pretty sweet, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mista. Mista N9. Do you now have the removal required to deal with my audience? You could give me... Uh, we can do this at end point, but the only thing we can do is gain five lives, so I guess we're gonna do it now. It doesn't matter. We can't play anything during his turn anyways. Maybe I could fake something, because not everyone knows about the fact that you can't play things during your opponent's turn with this. Ghost out to four, uh, that's ballsy. What's he have? M9. P8 and R. I have to pronounce this differently. Ne Nepenor. Nepen. Nep. 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 I was supposed to, I think there's some kind of lead speak, but it's too lead for me. I can't speak it. Ooh, savage! Surely you see the humor here. Oh, yeah, that's time to take my Kenrith. You think I can take my Kenrith? You bastard. <laughs> you goddamn bastard, I say. You bastard, but <laughs> goddamn it, I like your style. <laughs> Down to pay time right there. Now? We gun. We gun do this. The first time twisting him. On this thing. Is this the best thing to do when I think about it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Because I was like, couldn't cast too many spells here. Wouldn't have been too good. Okay. Turn Kenrith. Turn into my hand. Draw a card. Coley Cubs. Coley Cubs. Put this down. Give him haste. Haste! <laughs> trample and haste, even. Oh, all creatures gain trample on the land and haste on the land turn. Didn't even know that. Well, I'm going face, anyways. Go in. Go in, I say. Go in. No, we need to block here, mister. That goose needs to go. Or you will go. Okay. Down to one, then. Down to one. Matter of fact, I could buff this somehow. <laughs> okay, eats it up. Little bit of life here. Little bit of life. And it comes back. Man, I like this time twist thing. Really, really like it, must say. Captive audience. Now what are you gonna do? Five tutus. Do you have the board sweeps to deal with that? Or will you discard your hand? Yep, yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> Don't need it. Don't need it anymore. Sad. But I have a feasting troll. Ready to feast on the beast. On the schnist. Ready to do. He's gonna do it though. He's gonna put it down. Nope. Nope. Just gave up. <laughs> Hold him! Hold him, I say! Oh. <gasps> I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna win this game! Against Cafe. 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 Let's say in Swedish. Cafe. Cafe on coca. Set scorpion. Mm hmm. Why do so many people love this card? I don't get it. It's like a thing. It's like an. It has its own cult following, this Set scorpion. Someone. I mean, a lot of people are just singled out this as one of the best commons in green. They're just Sad Scorpion. So good. Death Touch, we've never seen this on a green card before. I think we have seen this on a green card before, actually. But it's very rare to see Death Touch on this thing right here. Oh. Well, soon, soon you will know the pain and suffering of my people. I will tell you about... The highlands where we came from. You see, we migrated thousands of years ago. 
We lived on an alien planet. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. Sometimes my brain just starts walking. It's like, I'm going this way! <laughs> I'm like, wait! <laughs> wait, we need reason! Reason hasn't catched up yet! <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, we're just gonna swoop and swoop the scorpions. Make a scorpion pie! Scorpion pie! <laughs> scorpion pie! Dingy fire! Was this card a little bit too strong? I think, again and again. Whenever I play this deck, I feel like Fires of Invention. It's probably a little bit too strong. Probably a little bit too strong for standard. I will see though. I mean, we have this guy. Is <laughs> the guy who runs both OP cards? Of course! <laughs> of course, that is completely fair. And everything. Uh, and I've never made a mistake. Uh, and I'm not hypocritical in any way, <laughs> shape or form. I have integrity and everything. Just not right now. <laughs> not right here. I can show you integrity. But not right now. I don't need to show it right now. do you anything. Uh, let's get into the trample. Go in with Gareth. <laughs> That's my best impression of it. What's going on here? Do you bounce the fires? That doesn't do anything. I not the fear doesn't do anything. Just pass this. Blast it. Blast it. Wait for this guy. Do something. Five manas. He's still he's holding it on to his sedge scorpions here, I think. I cannot simply put down my sedge scorpions. I think what Fires of Invention should do is should tap your lands. How it should be worded, to be more fair, is that uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you tap all your lands, but then you can play three cards or something. That would probably have been a better way to do it. Because now you can still use all your manas. That's very good. That's very, very good. Do we now? Go for Drawn from Dreams, Tiffer. Nah, we just go for Drawn from Dreams. We just go for it, I say. Uh, sure. Maybe I should go for a land, though. I don't know. <laughs> seems, good. seems so weird to go for lands in this deck. Uh, plus, no, I am not but it's pretty sweet with this guy. Maybe. Nah. Nah, maybe not needed. I wonder what this guy is uh, really waiting for in this deck. Okay, Paradise Druid. Well, you surely need wrap for all those Sedge Scorpions. Uh, okay. I think I will draw a card. I love that I hated so much on this card. <laughs> Until I just realized it's like the best thing ever. Yeah, okay, we, we have the kind of the combo here, but the thing is, there's no use in comboing a guy who's already comboed himself. Mental. <laughs> I think. Uh, do we clear up the board? Guess. Guess we do. Why the hell not? And go in for a little bit of smackage. The ultimate smackage was delivered that day. Mm hmm. I guess we can go for a Fey Wishes then. She live for a non creature card. Oh, we could have killed him this turn. I could have gone for uh, Revival Revenge. That was a mistake. That was a. Uh, yes, a mistake. Sure, bolus. <laughs> it's like. Just like having boluses. Bolus eye. Multiple Don't boluses. I got this. Pass down. I think we got this. I think. I think we own him. They go on him. They go on him. <laughs> oh, oh. Member shout out. Member shout out. <laughs> thank you everyone so much for watching. And a special thank, of course, to our dear members Blue Dragon 077, Adam Alexis, Ramen Noodles for me. 
Magic Pistol Man, Simon Lauer, Rodney Cox, Herman M, Agony Reborn, The Soft Pillow, Snick, Luria Stars, Shamanic, Spencer Hofsty, Alex Mike, Nathaniel Nissan, Laser Setter, Stun, Eric 0234, Jeff Henry, Lean In Into It, Santa John, Michael Yu, Pocky Yu, Matthias Pauli, Topless Investments, Cronus 1107, W Lutz, 1978, P, Peter Gold, Strange Brontides, Sean Stevens, Gabriel Juvenal, Tundes, Tundex, Smog JC, Marcus Rutledge, Tim Stokes, Wiza, QD Lady 23, Brian Gutierrez, Amano 84, Seth Hickok, Way, Ian Cusack, Mesamok, The Old Basses, Dingo Scrub, Orion SSFL, Crew the Barbarian, Link is Week, Rainbird 2002, 4K Television, Across Ascending, July Moonlight Star, Donkey Kong, Wilker Ribero, Jace Unraveler of Secrets, Carlos Martinez, Drake Edge 2000, Dave Steer, Nicholas Zanotti, Jurassic Fart, The Swamp King, Wokia Floren, Rage Notch, Simple Human, Badass Winab, Badass Wanab, <laughs> Aaron Noble, Betsuma, Brandon Dobbs, Callus Dismissal, Sherwood, Caleb, Carlo Palumbo, Dan Goodsell, David Newman, DBK Drummer, Dingo Scrub, Drew Styles, Event of Tantum, Freeman Stephenson, Jeff George, Kazon, Kip Coster, Magneto, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Piotr Stolarczk, Pote, Prince Mark Bagauk, Esquire, Rainbow Cake, Serge Karamarov, Wonderbread, and X Covenant X. You guys are amazing! <laughs> if you also want to become a Dark Disciple, help rule the underworld and all that jazz, then check out either the Join button next to the Subscribe button, or check out my Patreon link in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time. People often ask me, are there other people who need a thank you? And I tell them, these guys, the bad shoulders on Patreon, also needs a thank you. Thank you.